I'm here live with NBC's Leanne Trotter, who is our host for tonight. What is the most thrilling thing about being a host for this event? Well, the people, the films, it's always a lot of fun. Excellent. And who is your friend here? This is my cousin. Don't Hi. they look alike? Yes. <laughs> What's your name? Gia. Gia. Nice to meet you, Gia and Leanne. What is the most encouraging thing happening in African-American cinema these days? The fact that people are seeing it. I mean, really. I mean, it's events like this that make it viable for some of these filmmakers to have their work seen because if it weren't for films, uh, film festivals like this, where would they be shown? Yes, indeed. Of course, Black Panther. Are there any other films you want to mention that we should keep a lookout for? I'm not sure which new films are coming out, but if when they come out, I'll be there. We're gonna we're gonna find out tonight, I think, too. Last night I watched Get Out again, and I was like, ah! by yourself? Yes, I was oh. by myself, and then I went to bed, and I was afraid I was gonna have a nightmare. I'm glad you made it. I'm glad you're okay, and it really is you, right? Yes. This right. isn't a Get Out situation. Yeah, no. You're not my cousin Wendy or something. Right, right, right. <laughs> what? What black stories do you think still need to be told in cinema? Well, I think all of the stories. You know, we are not a monolithic people. We are diverse in, in, in every way. And so, you know, what stories? All stories, really. Excellent. I think every story needs to be told. There's plenty of stories out there, just regular African-American stories, their life. And it's really not seen so much yet in the films or in TV. And so there's so much to be told about the American life of African Americans. And I can't wait for it to be seen and be told.